为您播出其中一场睿智开示。师徒之间节目，青海无上师谈环保，青海无上师讲经节录，肉品真正的成本三集之一。So nowadays, in the modern time, scientists have made some research, and they thought the cause of war may be the starvation. Many countries starve, and many countries have too much, thing like that. But not really. We don't really have too much. We just use it wrongly and waste. So they make a research. For example, someone told me in Toronto, he had a restaurant. He has a vegetarian restaurant and a vegetarian magazine. He told me that, according to a research, if in Northern America each person eat vegetarian meal once a week only, then we have enough food to feed 60 million people a year. And I was startled. I said, "How can it be?" But they work out that way. Not because of the food. There's so many concerning with food. Because the land had to be cultivated, and now it's wasted for the cow feeding and all the water supply, all the medicine for the cows and the pigs and whatever, and all the transportation. Everything concerned with meat diet had reportedly wasted a lot of human substance, and that is the cause of starvation of many countries. It takes a lot of food, or protein, medicine, transport, water. To feed a cow, and these things came from underdeveloped country too. And this protein and food could have been fed, and could have been distributed in a different way, in order to feed the whole world instead of feeding a cow. And we eat a cow. It's second-hand stuff, anyhow. So nowadays, many people believe that vegetarian diet can save the world and minimize a lot of war. Mm. And I think I do not oppose this idea. Maybe in the future, in very near future, we should try at least to see how it works, and then we can comment. But I believe it will work, provided each of us support it and try to cooperate. Could you speak on vegetarian eating and how that can contribute towards world peace? Yes, I have spoken in somewhat already、uh, detail, but I probably say more if you wish. You see, most of the war which happened in this world due to economic reason, an economical reason came. More urgently through hunger and through lack of equal distribution of food in different countries. Now, if you care to read magazines and research about vegetarian diet, you would know very well. To raise cattle and animals for meat. Cost our economical bankruptcy in all aspects. Cost hunger of the world, at least of the third world. And it's not me who say this; it's you, the American citizens, who made this kind of research and wrote these books. You can go in any bookshops. Read vegetarian research. Yeah, read food process research. You can read like Diet for a New America from John Robbins. He's very famous ice cream hero, <laughs> ice cream、uh, millionaires, and he gave it all up in order to be a vegetarian and write a vegetarian books against his family's tradition and business. Could mean lots of money, prestige, and business to him. But he did it for the sake of truth, 
That book is very good. But there are many other books and magazines which uh, give you a lot of information and facts about vegetarian diet that could contribute to world peace. You see, we bankrupt our earth materials for food by feeding cattle. You know how much protein, medicine, water supplies, manpower, cars, trucks, road made, and how many hundreds thousands of acres of land has been wasted before a cattle is good enough for one meal. And all these things could be distributed equally to all kind of underdeveloped countries. And then we save the hunger problem. And once, if a country is in need of food, he probably will invade another country just to save his own people. But in the long run, it created bad cause and retribution. As you saw, so shall you reap. If we kill someone for food, we will get killed for food later, in some other form, in the next time, next generation. It's a pity that we are so intelligent, so civilized, and yet most of us do not know the course of our neighboring country's suffering. That is through our palate, through our taste, through our stomach, in order to fit and nourish just one body. We kill so many beings and we starve so many fellow human beings. Don't talk about animals yet. And this guilt, consciously or unconsciously, will weight down in our conscience, makes us suffer cancers, tuberculosis, other kind of incurable disease, including AIDS. Ask yourselves why our country, the Americans, suffer the most, the highest rate of cancers in the world. Because we eat a lot of beef. We eat more meat than any other countries. Now, uh, we should be warning people all about the products containing meat and milk and eggs also, fish even. Anything to do with animal products, we should, as you said, put a warning label on them. This is because these products bring many of the same health problems and involves the same animal cruelty and they are destroying our home. The egg industry, for example, routinely disposes of male chicks at a very young age by throwing them into a grinder. Gosh. Oh. Where they are crushed into so-called meat while they are still alive. Oh, God. How can we ever do this? How can we ever do this? Imagine, <laughs> imagine if it were our own defenseless children who were treated thus. Imagine if it's ourselves who were thrown into a grinder and made us suffer while still alive. My God, is there any hell more horrible than this? Mr. Ling Shu, besides being horrifically inhumane, even just to think about it, even just to mention it, it wrenches our heart. How can we imagine anybody would do this? 
I did not know this before either. I did not even know this. The more we go into this information, uh, the more we know about this terrible treatment to <laughs> to helpless and innocent <laughs> little chicken and animals. I can't, I can't imagine we do this. I can't, I can't imagine anyone would do this. <laughs> Gosh. These activities are carried out in completely unhygienic conditions, making them a breeding grounds for deadly bacteria like E. coli and viruses such as swine flu, and in turn killing humans and making people suffer. A lot of people suffer, not by death, but by the separation, the loss of loved ones, even young children who die by swine flu and living parents, <laughs> painful, suffer so much. Uh, the damaging health effects of meat <laughs> and dairy are now well documented for everyone to see. <laughs> Um, besides being directly linked to increased risk of such fatal diseases as colon cancer, links have also been made to many other cancers, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, infertility in women, and even mercury poisoning found in fish. Uh, another type of meat poisoning can come from arsenic, which is often fed to poultry to make them grow faster. And in turn, we feed, we feed ourselves with these poultry. Of course, then we poison ourselves as well. But nobody would tell us about this. So we are feeding ourselves with poisons every day, not just from poultry, but from cows and pigs, ducks, geese, and uh, not to talk about the cruelty beyond imagination, that we are not even allowed to know and to see. If everybody see how <laughs> The chicken were treated, how pigs are treated, and how little, little tiny chickens are treated, grind alive like that. I don't think they would want to ever eat chicken meat again. But we are not even allowed to say this. Most of the farm are hidden away from us hidden away from our conscience. And we, for not knowing, <laughs> contribute to all this cruelty. And we, for not knowing, fit poison to our tender, young, helpless, innocent children and wonder why they're sick, they're ill, and have to make them suffer for medicine injections operation and cause us so much pain to us, the, the parents. If only all people know this, we're trying to inform them. Please help us to inform everybody. This, this is beyond hell. One U.S. study that looked at all sources of arsenic acid, arsenic, you know, a poison substance, said that among the highest are seafood and poultry. Uh, seafood and poultry, P 
poultry, mean chicken, uh, ducks and all that, they contain the most arsenic. And you know arsenic is poison, yeah? Not only that, chronic arsenic exposure has been associated with all forms of cancer in Formosa. Please look into the research and see it for yourself. In other research, 164 samples of ready-to-serve prepared meat foods from a scientific center in Formosa, I mean Taiwan, in Taiwan, were evaluated with up to almost 30% found to contain some form of bacteria contamination, including the potentially deadly lethal E. coli. Finally, in one of the worst animal disease outbreaks to hit the island of Taiwan, the virus called hoof and mouth disease was transmitted from one pig that came to the island in early 1997. Within just six weeks, 6,000 farms had been stricken, resulting in the tragic slaughter massacring 3.8 million pigs. Although in that case there were no reported human infections, this gives you some idea of how quickly animal-borne diseases can spread, causing devastation for themselves and humans alike. And these are just a few examples. So, you can see, Mr. Ling Shu, the best is to abolish meat altogether. Because unlike tobacco, drugs and alcohol, animal consumption is eating up our planet, is killing us humans, and destroying our only home that soon we might not even have a planet to live on, for our children to continue to live on. We have no time to waste now, as in the case of the other three poisonous substances, namely uh, drug, alcohol and tobacco. Some of the tragic tolls of addictive drug abuse. Over 200,000 deaths each year. Costs of 181 billion US dollars each year in the United States, 33 billion US dollars in the UK. Lifetime cost of current drug addiction amounts to 575 billion US dollars in the UK. Over 100 British children each week call a hotline to express concern about their parents' drug and alcohol use. Harmful effects, brain damage with mental and emotional losses, stroke, heart disease and irreversible damage, liver disease, tuberculosis, emphysema, cancer, depression, suicide, permanent memory loss, mental illness, higher infant mortality, increased crime and violence, impotence. Crime and violence. Illegal drugs are a factor in 50% of burglaries in the United Kingdom each year. In the U.S., 60% of people arrested each year have been taking illegal drugs. 650 heroin addicts in the U.S. committed 70,000 crimes in a three-month period. Social costs. U.S. businesses lose 100 billion U.S. dollars per year due to employees' drug and alcohol abuse. Australians pay 53 billion U.S. dollars per year for health care, law enforcement, and lost productivity of drug users. Environmental costs. Every gram of cocaine produced destroys 4.4 square meters of rainforest, with 300,000 hectares of rainforest lost each year to cocaine production. Death. 52 people die each day due to drugs in the U.S. In Canada, substance abuse is attributed to 21% of total deaths and 23% of potential life years lost due to early mortalities. Plus more. Subsidize and convert the drug industry into vegetable organic farming. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Drug begins with ignorance and frustration of the young people of our age. Because many of the organizations sometimes 
have failed in satisfying their spiritual need for the higher meaning of life, more than just material, because material today we don't we don't like. Therefore, they they are charmed, they are seduced into taking drugs because in taking drugs sometimes they can have hallucination and feel uh, comforted for a very short time. But little did they realize the very grave consequence after that. Therefore, meditation is the best way to relieve all this suffering of the people when they want to know God, they want to know happiness inside. Because our happiness through meditation, through the light and the music of heaven, is everlasting and is always improved and always uh, more and more happiness and never have any consequence like the drug. If we can propagate more uh, the meditational benefit, then the drug uh, uh, effect on people will be less and they, they, they will understand where to turn to for a longer lasting happiness. Some of the tragic tolls of tobacco, 5.4 million smoking-related deaths per year worldwide. Tobacco use kills one person every six seconds. Smoking-related costs, 193 billion US dollars annually in the United States alone. Depression, light and mild cigarettes, just as harmful. Causes cancer and diseases in animal companions. Harms lung cell DNA that regulates breathing. Speeds the aging process. Toxic residues of third-hand smoke heart disease, coronary thrombosis, cerebral thrombosis, kidney failure, cancer, mouth, liver, breast and colorectal cancer, lung cancer, esophagus cancer, kidney cancer, bladder cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, bronchitis, stroke, impotence. Additional harms for exposure to secondhand smoke, 600,000 deaths worldwide each year. Childhood arteriosclerosis, leading to heart attacks and strokes in adulthood. Sudden infant death syndrome, more than 80% of the babies who die are exposed to secondhand smoke. Infertility, miscarriages and premature deliveries. Childhood asthma, bronchitis, ear infection cleft lip or palate, hyperactivity and aggression in asthmatic boys, circulatory problems in women, lung damage in children leading to adult emphysema, lung cancer in non-smoking restaurant servers, hearing loss across all frequencies, childhood behavioral problems when exposed while in the womb. Plus more. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol. 2.5 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide. One in six deaths on the road in the UK are caused by drunk driving. In Australia alone, 70% of adults are negatively impacted by another's drinking, with 43% affected by physical or verbal abuse. Over 100 British children each week call a hotline to express concern about their parents' alcohol and drug use. Cost of alcohol-related illnesses 186.4 billion US dollars in the United States. 2.41 million pounds for prescription medications each year in England, UK, with overall health costs in the billions. 210 to 665 billion US dollars globally. Disease. Higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168%. Cancer of the liver, breast, colon, esophagus, rectum, linked to 20% of breast cancer cases. Liver disease, cardiovascular disease, metal toxicity, sleep pattern disturbance including frequent awakening and reduced rest, brain damage, amnesia and dementia, brain shrinkage, organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes, birth defects, children afflicted by anxiety and depression, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stunted growth, facial deformity, sudden infant death syndrome, miscarriage, alcohol-related violence, child abuse, 50% of cases, violence toward loved ones, 30% of cases, violent acts, 
40 to 80 percent of cases. Suicides, 20 to 50 percent of cases, plus more. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Even if we put labels or warning on the meat a package, is not sufficient. Now we can see meat is everywhere, legally killing us and our children legally killing our planet, killing the environment in massive scales. We must stop animal production now and at all costs if we want to keep this planet called home. The government gives subsidies to animal industry anyway, so these subsidies can also be used instead to turn meat and related businesses into wholesome vegan businesses. Good for the people, good for the business, good for the planet. Doing this, we only gain hugely, not just immediately, but for the long, long run. And we can keep this planet forever and make it into a paradise by just throwing that meat away and stop the animal industry. So please, Mr. Ling Shu, Use your media power. Join us in informing people of this harm so that they simply stop eating meat. It's too cruel. It's too unwise. It's too insufficient. It's too unsustainable. And it's killing our people and our planet. Legally killing. If somebody go out and kill somebody, we put him in jail. Meat is murder. Meat is killing billions of people, killing our planet, our only home. We have to do something about this crime. It's really simple to be veg, and it is the only way to a future for ourselves and all beings on this world. Thank you, Mr. Ling Shu for being veg and doing what you're doing to help to save the planet and save us from being the cruelest being in the universe. The cause of killing, the cause of violence is far more worse than any car, any sun explosion, any ocean explosion combined together because we have to be uh, responsible for our action. Every action provoke a counter reaction. So we just have to stop killing. We just have to stop killing animals and men. We have to stop it. And then everything else suddenly will come clear. We will find better technical means to tackle the climate problem. The sun might even stop exploding. The ocean explosion might just stop. The typhoon might just stop, the cyclone will be silenced, the earthquake will just be gone. Everything else will turn to peaceful way of life because we create peace and then we will have peace. Peace not only among humans, but among all co-inhabitants. That's why I keep emphasizing the vegetarian diet. It's the moral code of being a human. It is the mark of a great human. It's very easy to do it, especially nowadays. They are all mean to do it. You see, the meat diet not only causes the greatest emission of poisonous gas into the planet atmosphere, but many other causes, you know, it's not only the animal who emit the methane gas, because we keep multiplying the animals and they keep multiplying spraying gas into the air. But that's not only the damage. It's not only methane gas from the animal's waste. There is a transportation 
energy cost. There's electricity energy cost. There's water wasting cost. There's a land resource, you know, occupation cost. There's a deforestation cost. And there's a related illness, medical cost. And there's a grievance sorrow of the people who lost loved ones due to disease related to meat diet costs. And because we use food to feed livestock for human consumption instead of feeding directly to humans, therefore there is cause of war and famine due to shortage of food and resources. Add them together, then we will see the real answer. There are many causes which breed negative energy into the atmosphere of our planet. And you know what I'm talking about. When you walk into a room and somebody was hating each other or hating you, you feel the energies like cutting edge of a knife. When you walk into a lovely, happy party, you will feel the lively energy and the happy energy. That is what causes the happiness or the sorrow of our life, the energies, the negative energy or the positive energy. Now, vegetarian diet is benevolent, so it will bring you happy energy. And that in turn will breed more happiness, will attract more happiness. And when you're happy, everything will be better. You think better, you react better, your life become better, your children will be better, everything will be better. Hello, Supreme Master. Thank you. Um, Hello. I'm honored to uh, come. A lot of people don't know that Cincinnati is known as Porkopolis. We got our start um, as the pig capital of uh, the Midwest. So um, my question uh, is really a very important question, I think, one that I've been asking myself for years and it relates to the political leadership of this country. And to be able to ask you this in Washington, D.C. seems really powerful. So. Um, I wanted to press this by saying, you know, I'm almost half a century old, but when I was growing up, America was known as the land of the free and, and um, the leader of the free world and a, a beacon of light and to the world. And now we've become the leading um, consumer. So my question is, you know, the American people have demonstrated their compassion and their power since the beginning and overcoming many uh, forces of evil. So right now, how do we, as citizens of America, um, the ones that are literally consuming the planet, encourage and um, support greater nobility in ourselves, in our fellow American citizens, and in our government leaders? Thank you. Mr. Ball, good question, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you for trusting me with <laughs> such a great responsibility. Uh, I admire the American people very much, sir, you know that, for their faith and open-minded, courageous spirit. And right now, the government's leaders need our faith and encouragement more because we really need their leadership to bring about wide-scale change. We must help provide the government with information about the true cost of the animal diet. Sometimes the government are busy putting priority elsewhere, you know, sir? Yes. Not that they don't like the change, but maybe they are not completely informed. So we have to inform them, write to them, talk to them, do whatever it takes to inform them, yes, the true cost of the animal diet, not just cost life, it costs billions of US dollars every year, just for the meat-related sickness. Uh, not to talk about how it kills our planet. Eh? You can gather and print it, all this information, and send to your political leaders. If you want, you can go to uh, SupremeMasterTV.com slash SOS. We have all the information up to date that we have gathered and reliable and ready material 
collected there for you. I myself have also written and sent letters and information to the secular and religious leaders of the world, hoping they have time to read. I don't send a lot of books, just short, condensed information. If you want, you can inquire mm, the condensed one that I sent to the leaders of the world. And if they want to know more, or if you want to know more, or your people want to know more, can always log on to the www.suprememastertv.com slash SOS, that's it. Or just log on to www.suprememastertv.com and ask for any subject you want. And they're all free of charge and ready anytime. And should the leaders take some positive steps, then we should write to thank them also and encourage them, not always criticize and don't thank them when <laughs> they do the right thing. We should have positive encouragement. You see, we have to encourage them when they do some right things and so they go further in that direction or even better improve. Right now, the government's leaders need our faith and encouragement more because we really need their leadership to bring about wide-scale change. We must help provide the government with information about the true cost of the animal diet. As for the way that meat industry is destroying the environment, our health and the health and future of our children and the planet eventually. The numbers, the sheer numbers, should be more than enough to shock any of us into action. Allow me to report to you a few shocking facts from the United States, your country alone. United States alone, yeah? One, waste of land. Now, in the U.S., an area more than nine times the size of California, nine times California size, is used either for growing farm animal feed or grazing livestock. It's all about animals, nothing about us. That's about one billion acres or 80% of all agriculture land in the U.S and about half of all U.S. land being used for meat production. By contrast, less than three million acres is used to grow all the vegetables in the country. Imagine that. Number two, waste of water. Half the water in the U.S. is wasted on production of meat, just for comparison. 100,000 liters of water are needed to produce one kilogram of beef, while less than 1% of this amount, or 900 liters only, is required to harvest a kilogram of wheat. Number three, waste of food. 90% of all soy, 80% of all corn, and 70% of all grain grown in the United States are fed to fatten livestock. Well, this could feed at least 800 million hungry people, sir. So we have hungry people. We have children die every few seconds because we use too much land, too much water, too much food for livestock instead of on human. Number four, pollution. Livestock produce 130 times as much waste as the human population in the U.S. Can you imagine that? A single pig farm with, uh, say, 500,000 pigs generates more waste yearly than the 1.5 million residents of Manhattan in New York City. In Virginia state, even the poultry farms are producing one and a half times polluting nitrogen more than all the people living in the same area. We are killing us, ourselves. All this waste is unregulated and untreated, you know. 
There's no law to regulate these and treat these things. So the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency estimates that uh, agriculture, which is mostly for meat production, contributes to nearly three quarters of the country's water pollution problem. Three quarters of your country's pollution came from livestock. Now in 1995, one time, one eight-acre pig manure lagoon bust in North Carolina. You know, um, for people who don't know what manure lagoon is, allow myself to explain. It is where they have a dig, a big lake, you know, and then they, um, all the manure and the waste, the urine and all that uh, of the pig will go in there. And it looks like a lagoon, so they call it manure lagoon. One time, an eight-acre large such pig manure lagoon bust in North Carolina and spilling 25 million gallons of this poisonous waste twice the volume of the notorious uh, Exxon uh, Valdez oil spill. We complain about oil spill, but this is even worse. Uh, hundreds of millions of fish in the state New River were killed instantly due to the uh, nitrates in the waste with further harmful effects once the contamination reached the ocean. This is just one of many incidents, sir. Not only that, we have the enormous dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico, the size of New Jersey, which suffocates all marine life there. And this is overwhelmingly due to the nitrogen runoff from the Midwest, from the animal waste and the fertilizers for the animal feed crops. This waste is toxic. It contains antibiotics, hormones and pesticides and 10 to 100 times the concentration of deadly pathogens like E. coli and salmonella compared to human waste. Number five, uh, health and economic cost. Meat causes hundreds of billions, hundreds of billions of U.S. dollars in medical costs alone and economic burdens on families and governments. Not to mention the pain and suffering of the families. Of course, unimaginably great and lifelong. And all the while, we are suffering illness, losing lives, Grieving over lost loved ones, family members, losing happiness, losing money due to the animal diet. We are the ones who are paying the industry to continue producing this problem, producing meat, fish and the like, with our hard-earned tax money that's used to subsidize them. Ironic, huh? The U.S. government could, of course, redirect the billions of dollars now spent on livestock subsidies to help farmers switch to organic vegetable and fruit agriculture. That would be a great help to your country and the health of the Americans. The government could use this powerful tools to spread campaigns about veg alternatives, bans on meat, and laws to help people switch to organic vegan farming and consumption. A global switch to a veg diet could even save the world governments a lot of money, as much as 80% of all the climate mitigation costs of 40 trillion US dollars by year 2050. That is, we save 32 trillion U.S. dollars in climate mitigation costs and having a healthy vegan population is a good deal, good business deal, in all positive aspects. There is very good reason for the American government to abolish meat, fish, eggs and dairy, or the animal product altogether. We must stop animal production now and at all costs, if we want to keep this planet. I repeat, 
We must stop animal products right now and at all costs if we want to keep this planet. I have always looked to the American people and their great government leaders as one of the best living examples of democracy and freedom, integrity of our world. However, I must tell you truthfully that the meat industry is unbefitting to the greatness of your country and of the great American citizen. Don't you agree, sir? Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, great people deserve great things. Great people lead great lifestyle. So we have to do away with the ungreat things and we have to begin the great things for the great people, great country like America. I pray, sir, that the ones who are aware uh, and want to save the children will do something about it and fast to stop this horrendous criminal system that is killing us and destroying our planet. And that we must not allow any longer. Thank you and God bless your faith in the divine, in your leaders and yourself. God bless America. Supreme Master, Ireland, as you know, is surrounded by the sea, so I think it's appropriate to start off by taking a look at the wonderful part of our ecosystem and the perilous state that it's in. Um, if we start off with the ocean dead zones, researchers at the University of Gothenburg in Sweden have discovered 20 dead zones around the Irish coastline and 400 worldwide. If global dead zones were combined, they would equal New Zealand in size. Scientists mainly blame fertilizer and other farm runoff, sewage and fossil fuel burning. But Robert J. Diaz, professor of the Marine Science of University of Gothenburg, said that we could end up with no crabs, no shrimp and no fish. How important is the sea to human survival? Well, it is as important as the, the forest to us, yes, and the water. Uh, According to research, 50% of our Earth's oxygen is uh, provided by microscopic uh, sea plants. 50%, huh? And now the dead zones in the ocean kept spreading and increasing around the globe. Some were even there for many years, but we have just found them recently. So they cover at least like 95,000 square miles for the one that we have discovered. With more, not yet discovered even. The pollution from fertilizers, sewage and fossil burning fuel are to blame, according to scientists. But uh, even... Uh, a cage farming for salmon also caused uh, dead zones. You know, as in the Big Glory Bay in New Zealand, they have discovered that uh, it's also been a dead zone because of the caging salmon farming. So the area has begun to recover after the salmon cages were removed. So according to research and doc documented by Dias and uh, Rosenberg of Swedish uh, Gothenburg University. Actually, it's a very interesting way of looking at it, um, that the, uh, the sea is like our forest, our, our underwater forest. I've never really looked at it that way. Um, but if we talk about like the, the coral uh, reefs, um, Alex Rogers from the Zoological Society of London, writing in the Journal of Science, said that an astonishing 33% of the world's reef-building corals face extinction, uh, extinction, mainly because of overfishing and coastal development um, and pollution, with another 50% hanging in the balance. Um, and also a report from the World Resources Institute in 1998 suggested that 60% of the world's coral reefs are threatened by human activity. What would the effects if the coral reefs disappeared and what can we do to prevent this from happening? What would be the effect? Whatever is created there are good for us. 
Now, the coral reefs are there for some reason. See, there are many factors that affect coral reefs, like uh, coastal developments, water pollution, change in uh, seawater temperature uh, because of global warming. So global warming is the greatest threat as it causes coral bleaching or when temperature gets too high and uh, the coral's important uh, symbiotic uh, algae, algae is uh, lost and uh, exposes their white skeleton and that's the sign of death for the coral colony. As they are sensitive to the environment, e extremely slow in growing as well, uh, some say that they grow only 30 centimeters in 1,000 years and they need special conditions to survive. Therefore, some scientists predict that most of the coral reefs could disappear in the near future if global warming increases. A uh, scary 10% loss just in the last four years alone. Coral reefs are just like uh, the forest on land. They are the protectors of uh, 100 plus countries, coastlines, against storm surges and hurricanes. They are the protectors. And they are also the supporters of over 25% of all marine species. They are the medical treasure, which is used in uh, many medicines like antihistamines, uh, antibiotic, treating for asthma, heart disease even, etc., etc. And plus, more than 50% of new cancer drug research relies on marine organisms. So you see how important it is. And there are many more things that we have not discovered about the benefit of coral reef and marine life. If we were to look at contaminants in, in fish, uh, Supreme Master, uh, dolphin meat sold in Japan has high levels of mercury, methyl mercury, DDT and PCBs. One or more of these contaminants pollute almost all of the dolphin meat for sale in Japan, with one sample having more than 1,600 times the maximum permitted amount of mercury. I can't believe that people are not being informed of the levels of mercury in fish on food packaging, as it's even being sold to pregnant women. Master Cheng Hai, do you feel that government should do more to inform, to inform people of these issues? Yes, definitely. The uh, European Union's Food Safety Agency has warned pregnant women uh, to limit swirl fish and tuna intake due to their high mercury levels, which can cause, you know, brain damage in unborn babies. The United States Environmental Agency also issued uh, a similar warning. It is uh, estimated one in eight American women of child-bearing age has dangerous levels of mercury in their blood. 15% of babies in the United States in 2000 were exposed to fatally high levels of mercury, according to research conducted by an international team of scientists in Japan in 1999. Dolphin meat is reported to be uh, also even disguised often as whale well meat and is uh, mostly contaminated. More than 91% of dolphin and whale samples tested exceed one or two pollutants. Other research shows similar results, that the dolphin meat are dangerous to mother and fetus. And if mother breastfeeding the child after consuming dolphin meat, then uh, the child also uh, encounter a danger. Some new research as well, um, Supreme Master, is that the mercury levels um, can actually affect fertility too. Some Japanese scientists, you know, the one who involved in this uh, Japanese uh, project, stated that these products should be taken off the shelves immediately. And uh, Dr. Palumbi of Harvard University gave the same advice to the Japanese government, that they should ban dolphin uh, fishing and they should ban dolphin meat selling in the market. 
Speaking of uh, fishing, uh, Supreme Master, uh, I think we'll move on to the overfishing as fishing fleets expanded through the late 1980s and as fish finding um, and harvesting technologies became more efficient, uh, the world's fishers have systematically gone after their catch at greater depths and in more remote uh, waters. Over the past 50 years, the number of large predatory fish in the oceans has dropped by a startling 90%. And according to the UN Food and Agricultural Organization, the 4 million vessels scouring the world's waters are at or exceeding the sustainable um, yields of three quarters of all oceanic fisheries. Master Cheng Hai, if we keep on this path, there will be nothing left in, in the sea. How can we stop this nonsensical destruction uh, of the only sea that we have? We have to stop it somehow. I mean, just stop the fishing. The government has to forbid fishing because it's too important to our survival to delay any further. Not only is there overfishing and depleting of the marine life, but there's also a side killing, you know, like uh, when the commercial longliners go fishing, they normally uh, target swirl fish, but then they're killing tens of thousands of sea turtles, you know, by the way, and hundreds of thousands of sea birds and millions of sharks every year. This accidental killing is about 25% extra of our global catch. In the New York Times on November 2006, there's an article, say, a global collapse of fish species. We read, uh, like uh, experts predicted, more and more species will vanish and the global marine ecosystem will collapse, possibly in mid-century. There's more to this research. To stop this destructive practice of fishing, uh, the solution is vegetarian diet. No fishy stuff in our meals. The sea offers us plenty of better food choices. The wide varieties of super healthy and nutritious sea plants. We can even live on it forever. We must protect a living and healthy sea as it relates to our living and healthy self. I think we cannot live without the sea. I, the way, you know, we treat each other and the way we treat our co-inhabitants is truly not ideal. Not if we want to truly have a happiness on this planet. Not if we really want to have a peaceful world in which we will enjoy. So I uh, sometimes don't understand humans' mentality and how they think and how it works. The social system, the policy of the planet as a whole, you know? Every country is a little different, but some countries are better than others. But still, you can find even the richest countries still have this kind of problem. The people have no home, nowhere to go. Families scattered and broken because nowhere to go. And children go hungry, cannot go to school because no home, etc., etc. It's just very, very painful sometimes to watch, yeah? I do what I can, but it's never enough, because this is a system that we have yeah, in this world. It's not just one or two cases, it's the whole system. I just hope one day, if uh, everyone return to their greatness, yeah, think about how great they want to represent themselves on this planet, then uh, maybe we will have a better society. It's not just uh, like sharing the food only. It's just sharing everything. Technology help the people to help themselves. And if we are not eating meat, then the world will become better already. Yes, that means 
the society as a whole has become more compassionate, then the system will be different. We change, yeah? The mentality we change, and the policy of the planet we change. And then we will help each other, not just distributing food, like charity act, but distributing technology, yeah? Seeds, uh, helping with all kinds of things, conserving the whole resource of the planet so that everybody has a chance to use it to help themselves. I think everybody would love to serve themselves, not want to just uh, take the hand out, you know, in a refugee camp somewhere, dirty, chaotic, no water, no food, and just waiting for a hand out every day. That is not the way everyone would want to live his or her life, yeah? It's not the dignity. So the system has to change, and it begins with being vegetarian. Begins with vegetarian because people, if they want to save the planet, if they want to save the animal, then the compassion comes out. And then when the compassion envelops the whole planet, then the energy will change completely. Then everybody will bathe in it, and every day they will think differently, they will act differently, and their mind will be more clarified, and they can think of a better system, how to distribute wealth and resources, which belong to everybody anyway. Either you stay in Africa, you're born in Ethiopia, or you're born in England, it's the same. We have not brought any resource with us the day we are born. So the resource of the world belongs to everybody, but we don't distribute it well. The able ones take it more than give it. That's the problem, more than sharing it. So I do hope one day the whole planet will wake up and think of how we want to live our life, you know? not the life that we have been living up to now, I mean, most of it is not always what we can be proud of, yes. And when we die, we have nothing anyway. <laughs> we came with nothing, we will go with nothing. But meanwhile, everybody tried to take what they can, and therefore we are short. Some are taking too much, some are having none. And because the more we eat meat, the more we have to deforest, yes? And the more resource we need, more meat, more land we use, more deforestation, more fuel needed to process, to transport, more uh, resource needed for medicine, for facilities, medical facilities, for all kind of a new, new invention of medicine because new disease come out all the time. And the old one, we have not found a cure yet, the old new one already come. Because of this kind of bad energy, we breed more bad virus, bacteria, and we can never keep up with it. And then more a hospital, more experiments, a VV section, and more suffering for animals also, in all kind of things. Not just killing them only, you know, suffering in the laboratory and all that is beyond my imagination how we can treat anyone or any animal this way. Dosura 人真不懂
，每个部门又做不同的。比方说，一位总统或是那个呃主席哈，他就靠那个卫生部门呢，就报告他啊，还有那个卫生的部门。就靠那个健康部门，<笑>比方说外交部门、内内政部门这样子哈，他就靠那靠那个健康部那个报告他，那个健康部呢靠那个食物的那个部啊报告他，那个食物的部就靠那个肉肉啊鱼那些卖的，或是那个研究那些报告他。所以一个一个报告下去，然后政府根本没有办法，什么都知道。所以你们要做，就要自己做了，要告诉大家这样子一起做。不要每次都怪政府，也不要在那边等政府了。政府能做太好了，因为政府一下令下去哈，大家都 OK 的嘛。看那个抽烟有没有，从那个禁制了以后，哇、哦，很多人不吸烟，很多病都减少，很多生命都得救呢，很多小孩都没有。被吸到那个第二手烟，所以身体都健康，然后国家也更富强啊，省很多钱啊，几百万亿的，几个月而已就不一样啊，好多病都减了，然后医院也不那么超满了、啊，哎、啊，有时候病都藏在那边，超过了很多病人那肯级没办法进去。因为都被那那些病人那个已经躺在那里了，而现在呢，病人也减少，所以医院也很从容，是吗？然后那个，因为要带病人来来去去，也是花很多油费啊，是不是？哎，花很多钱啊，花很多那个人民那个付那个税金的钱啊。你认为钱哪里来嘛？如果没有别人付给你，也是自己付的。啊，有一些国家是用税金来那个保险人的生命哈，要、啊、免费或是付很小。有一些地方没有那种保险的那个系统，那我们自己要付，也是钱呐、啊，是吗？啊，赚很辛苦，哇，每年都几百亿亿万的，在美国，比方说这样子，多少人死啊，多少人病啊，多少花多少那个国家的经费。为了吃肉，为了喝酒，为了吸烟，为了赌马飞，花很多钱，赚得很辛苦，啊，送到政府那边，政府没办法做别的，要更好的，没有办法那个，比方说盖学校啊，给小孩啊，盖多那个运动场给老人家啊，盖多那些老人院啊，给人家舒服啊，不然的话已经盖了就很烂那种，不够，不够经费嘛。这盖的不舒服，然后那个人民很痛苦啊。你年轻的时候赚钱很辛苦，付税金，付税金老的时候也得不到利益，啊，因为钱都都马上就先用给那些紧急的病啊，剩下多少才给老人。所以如果那些钱啊，没有用到那个病痛的地方，哦，就很省很多嘞。Some of the tragic tolls of addictive drug abuse. Over 200,000 deaths each year. Costs of 181 billion U.S. dollars each year in the United States. 33 billion U.S. dollars in the U.K. Lifetime cost of current drug addiction amounts to 575 billion U.S. dollars in the U.K. Over 100 British children each week call a hotline to express concern about their parents' drug and alcohol use. Harmful effects: brain damage with mental and emotional losses, stroke, heart disease, and irreversible damage. Liver disease, tuberculosis, emphysema, cancer, depression, suicide, permanent memory loss, mental illness, higher infant mortality, increased crime and violence, impotence. Crime and violence. Illegal drugs are a factor in 50% of burglaries in the United Kingdom each year. In the U.S., 60% of people arrested each year have been taking illegal drugs. 650 heroin addicts in the U.S. committed 70,000 crimes in a three-month period. Social costs. U.S. businesses lose 100 billion U.S. dollars per year due to employees' drug and alcohol abuse. Australians pay 53 billion U.S. dollars per year for healthcare, law enforcement, and lost productivity of drug users. Environmental costs. Every gram of cocaine produced destroys 4.4 square meters of rainforest, with 300,000 hectares of rainforest lost each year to cocaine production. Death. 52 people die each day due to drugs in the U.S. 
In Canada, substance abuse is attributed to 21% of total deaths and 23% of potential life years lost due to early mortalities. Plus more. Subsidize and convert the drug industry into vegetable organic farming. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Drug begins with ignorance and frustration of the young people of our age. Because many of the organizations sometimes have failed in satisfying their spiritual need for the higher meaning of life more than just material because material today we don't we don't like therefore they they are charmed they are seduced into taking drugs because in taking drugs sometimes they can have hallucination and feel uh, comforted for a very short time but little did they realize the very grave consequence after that therefore meditation is the best way to relieve all this suffering of the people when they want to know God, they want to know happiness inside. Because our happiness through meditation, through the light and the music of heaven, is everlasting and is always improved and always uh, more and more happiness and never have any consequence like the drug. If we can propagate more uh, the meditational benefit than the drug uh, uh, effect on people will be less and they, they, they will understand where to turn to for a longer lasting happiness. Some of the tragic tolls of tobacco. Five points. Some of the tragic tolls of tobacco, 5.4 million smoking related deaths per year worldwide. Tobacco use kills one person every six seconds. Smoking related costs 193 billion US dollars annually in the United States alone. Depression, light and mild cigarettes just as harmful, causes cancer and diseases in animal companions, harms lung cell DNA that regulates breathing, speeds the aging process, toxic residues of third hand smoke, heart disease, coronary thrombosis, cerebral thrombosis, kidney failure, cancer, mouth, liver, breast and colorectal cancer, lung cancer, esophagus cancer, kidney cancer, bladder cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, bronchitis, stroke, impotence. Additional harms for exposure to secondhand smoke, 600,000 deaths worldwide each year. Childhood arteriosclerosis, leading to heart attacks and strokes in adulthood. Sudden infant death syndrome. More than 80% of the babies who die are exposed to secondhand smoke. Infertility, miscarriages and premature deliveries. Childhood asthma, bronchitis, ear infection. Cleft lip or palate. Hyperactivity and aggression in asthmatic boys. Circulatory problems in women. Lung damage in children leading to adult emphysema. Lung cancer in non-smoking restaurant servers. Hearing loss across all frequencies. Childhood behavioral problems when exposed while in the womb. Plus more. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Tifang 
啊，能够有一个屋顶，有一个温暖的地方，有够温饱，有生病有人照顾，老的有人照顾就 OK。不过钱没办法用在那么多地方，所以很多国家既然很有钱，不过人还是那个流浪在外面冷的时候没地方住，有时候死在那个政府那个机关前面，没地方去。有时候四季工作，就人家把你的房子拿了，因为你每个月付多少嘛，贷款。你没有工作就没办法再付了，啊，没有付人家银行就拿走了，拿走你就没有家了，没有家就更没有工作了，没有机会找到工作，没有家没有人让你工作，要写地址啊，你住哪里等等，要很多那种规矩嘛，嗯，然后呢就流浪在外面了啊，如果是，呃。我们国家那些钱省下来，那些流浪汉根本也可以有地方住的。然后，即使他暂时没有工作，等一下政府还可以照顾的，因为有够够那个经费嘛。比方说大陆那么多，每个人付税金，哇，多少钱？是不是？如果没有病痛呢，没有灾难哈，喝酒啊，有时候就有策划了，然后又打仗起来死了啊。我是打小孩什么的，到到处都有了呢。喝酒了就乱了，没办法知道谁是谁的，不自理啊。这样子很多灾难就出来，然后很多灾难也很多照顾啊，很多很多方面都连在一起，不是做一样东西。Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol: 2.5 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide. One in six deaths on the road in the UK are caused by drunk driving. In Australia alone, 70% of adults are negatively impacted by another's drinking, with 43% affected by physical or verbal abuse. Over 100 British children each week call a hotline to express concern about their parents' alcohol and drug use. Cost of alcohol-related illnesses: 186.4 billion U.S. dollars in the United States, 2.41 million pounds for prescription medications each year in England, U.K., with overall health costs in the billions, 210 to 665 billion U.S. dollars globally. Disease: higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168%. Cancer of the liver, breast, colon, esophagus, rectum, linked to 20% of breast cancer cases. Liver disease, cardiovascular disease, metal toxicity, sleep pattern disturbance, including frequent awakening and reduced rest, brain damage, amnesia and dementia, brain shrinkage, organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes, birth defects. Children afflicted by anxiety and depression, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stunted growth, facial deformity, sudden infant death syndrome, miscarriage, alcohol-related violence, child abuse, 50% of cases, violence toward loved ones, 30% of cases, violent acts, 40 to 80% of cases, suicides, 20 to 50% of cases, plus more. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com/forward/slash/killers. 然后那个哦，就钱就花在比较不对劲的地方。不然人家都很那个安稳的了，够钱用，每个人都可以过得不是很奢侈，不过就舒服的生活。靠你们两个手赚钱就够用，事实上这样。也许如果没病的话，就根本也不用付那么多税金。嗯，即使付的话，老的时候又给你更多的，不是给那么小的。因为政府要用钱救别人，那病那些又。还没有说那种，因为我们是肉啊，生出来很多那个灾难有没有？嗯，因为因果的关系，连我们不要讲因果了，我们讲那个素食的方面，肉的话用很多那个世界的原料就对了，所以水也小，地也小，然后阳气也会消耗。
，然后毒气又多生出来啊，因为靠很多才能够弄一块牛排出来嘛，而我们吃一块豆腐没多少，而且营养一样，更多比那个牛排还要多，又没有副作用那种病。所以不是说生病了，也不是说那个吃牛排生病 ，OK 没关系，我生病我自己去医院没关系，是我自己错自己受，不是要连累到别人，连累整个世界，因为吃那个肉啊，就伤害很多人，伤害很多那个环境嘛，伤害的环境，所以又变成对酒农化哈。Uh, you asked about what the social networking sites can also do assist in efforts to halt global warming through the vegan diet. I say vegan because as explained earlier, this really is the way we need to go to stop the greenhouse gases and the animal suffering. Yeah, all the websites should help to promote this, but we can't force them. We can only plead with them can only inform them, and everyone should decide. Please decide soon, otherwise we uh, might have no time. We might not have anything to save. When we do want to save, it might be too late then. Please do it soon, now. So promoting the planet cooling vegan diet through social network uh, is surely good, yes. Yes, you can surely use them to spread the veg idea, uh, veg benefit, veg planet saving, and the website themselves should do it also. We should inform people what good for them, hmm? because it's also good for us. We are living on the same planet. We should also inform people about the terrible harms and costs to our environment and the health of people and children, as well as the life and death matter of our world and related data we have to inform them all. Almost all people can do this, passing on the true information, the true cost of the animal diet. These can be effective because they use the most modern technology to reach the public. So yes, Mr. Ling, please spread the Be Veg message and get the word out to as many people as possible. Help people to wake up, because time is running out on us. Thank you for your dedication to this noble cause, and I wish you all the best in heroically helping to save our world. God bless you. Buddha bless you. You see, our current course of climate change is worse than the worst case scenario projected by the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, with the damaging and often fatal effects already being seen through such extreme events as hurricanes, flooding, droughts, and heat waves. Even if the world reduces greenhouse gas emissions, the planet will take time to recover from the gases already in the atmosphere. This is why it is necessary to focus on short-lived gases, namely methane. Methane traps at least 72 times more heat than CO2, average over 20 years period. Methane's biggest source is the livestock industry, which is indeed one of the top causes of global warming that must be stopped. First, please allow me to share just some of the, uh, the latest evidence of the impacts of climate change on humans and animals' lives.
Here we have first Arctic melt. The Arctic or North Pole may be ice free by 2012, 70 years ahead of IPCC estimations. Without the protective ice to reflect sunlight, 90% of the sun's heat can enter the open water, thus accelerating global warming. The change in Arctic ice covers is dramatic, with a climatologist saying that only 10% now is older and thick ice, while over 90% is newly formed and thin. Another Arctic change is the thawing of permafrost, a normally frozen layer of uh, earth containing methane stores. The thawing of this layer in recent years has caused methane to be released. With atmospheric levels that have risen sharply since 2004, further global warming beyond a 2 degrees Celsius rise could cause billions of tons more of methane to be released into the atmosphere, leading to mass extinctions of life on this planet. As the massive ice sheet of Greenland and the Antarctic continue to melt as well, catastrophic sea level rise and stronger storms are expected to follow. If the entire West Antarctic sheet melts, global average sea levels would rise at least by 3.3, 3.5 meters, affecting over 3.2 billion people. That is half of the world population who lived within 200 miles of coastline. And uh, U.S. scientists from the National Snow and Ice Data Center now say that if all of Antarctica were to melt, the sea level could rise to a much higher level than expected. Some say even up to 70 meters, which means more deadly to all lives on Earth. Next problem, we have lands sinking and climate refugees. Right now, at least 18 islands have completely submerged around the world, with more than 40 other island nations at risk from rising sea levels. A report from the International Organization for Migration stated that there may be 200 million or even up to 1 billion people will be climate refugees by 2050 or within our lifetime. These are people who must leave their island or coastal homes due to rising sea levels or permafrost melts that cause entire communities or nations to sink and collapse. Next problem we have, glacier retreat and water shortage. Most of the planet's glaciers will be gone within a few decades, jeopardizing the survival of more than two billion people. One billion of these people will suffer the effects of the Himalayan glacier retreat, which have been occurring at a pace more rapid than anywhere in the world with two-thirds of the region's more than 18,000 glaciers receding. The first effects of a glacier melt are destructive floods and landslides. 
as the glacial ice retreat continues, reduced rainfall, devastating droughts, and water shortages are the result. Next, oceanic dead zones. Climate change is creating areas of sea known as dead zones, which now number more than 400. These arise due to fertilizer runoff, largely from livestock, contributing to the lack of oxygen, which is necessary to support life. Now we have also record heat. The past decade has twice at least seen the hottest average annual temperatures ever recorded in our planet's history. In 2003, a record heat wave hit Europe, claiming tens of thousands of lives. Heat waves also preceded the worst wildfires ever in Australia's history. Next, storms increasing. The intensity and duration of hurricanes and tropical storms have been noted to increase by 100% over the past 30 years, with scientists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in the USA, say is likely due to climate-related increases in ocean temperature. Next, we have wildlife disappearance. Leading ecologists say that uh, the decline of wildlife due to species extinction is so rapid that there is no modern comparison. Scientists also now predict it that the Earth's 16,000 endangered species may become extinct 100 times faster than previously thought. Next, we have drought desertification. In Nepal and Australia, Wildfires this year have been severely intensified by drought conditions. In Africa, people in Somalia, Ethiopia and Sudan, to name just a few, have been crippled by drought. According to the United Nations, desertification, which often results from felling too many trees, and damages that occurs from such activities as cattle grazing is affecting the well-being of more than 1.2 billion people in more than 100 countries at risk. Precious fresh water supplies are also drying up, such as uh, aquifers under the major cities of Beijing, Delhi, Bangkok, and dozens of other regions, such as the Midwestern United States, while the river Ganges, Jordan, Nile, and Jiangsu have been reduced to a trickle for much of the year. In China, worst drought in five decades, vital crops were lost in at least 12 northern provinces costing the nation billions of U.S. dollars in drought relief to farmers with losses. Next, we have human health problem. 
According to Swiss-based research, climate change is already responsible for some 315,000 deaths a year, with another 325 million people who are severely affected. This comes in addition to an economic loss of 125 billion US dollars every year. The worst affected are developing nations in Africa with uh, other very threatened areas being uh, in South Asia and small island nations. enough with problem but we have solutions to this problem it might not be that early but it's still not too late we still can rescue our home planet home okay number one solution is vegan organic vegan veganism will save our world. Now many of these areas where we are seeing such devastating effects of climate change, such as Arctic melt, land sinking, water shortage, uh, from glacier melt and even storms increasing are all directly related to the Earth's temperature increasing. So we must cool the planet first and foremost. And the best way to stop global warming is to stop producing the greenhouse gases that create the heat. Logical, no? Yes, we already know about the efforts to reduce emissions such as from industry and transportation. But changes in these sectors are taking too much time, more than we can afford at this rate, at this hour. One of the most effective and fastest way to reduce the heat in the atmosphere is to eliminate methane production. Methane not only traps up to 72 times more heat than carbon, it also goes away from the atmosphere much faster than CO2. So if we stop producing methane, the atmosphere will cool more quickly than if we stop producing carbon dioxide. See what I mean? Organic vegan will produce beneficial cooling effects as it will cut down methane and other greenhouse gases which are fatal to our survival. We now can see how imperative it is to stop the warming of the planet with the greenness of all green policies and actions the most compassionate, the most heroic, the most life-saving action, that is, the vegan diet. Organic vegan, to be exact, is better for your health as well. It is the long-term insurance against uh, climate change. We must be the solution and encourage others with all the convincing and supporting scientific, physical, and moral data that is available to us. So they do the same. Adopting a plant-based diet can halt as much as 80% of global warming, eradicate <laughs> war hunger, stop war, promote peace. 
and it will free up the earth's water as well as many other precious resources, offering a lifeline for the planet and for humanity. In short, it will very quickly halt many of the global problems facing us right now. Therefore, it is vital that we change our lifestyle. It's very easy to do it. Setting a noble example for others to follow and do our part to bring to the public's attention the urgent climate change issues and its solutions. The foremost being vegan diet, the vegan diet, to safeguard our precious planet. It is time to walk the talk because there is not much time left now. 